Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Vulture from the Demo Goblin Waves. He comes with the Build-A-Figure head. It's the last figure in the wave that I'm reviewing. Then we get to finally build him. Uh, it's got a cool, just shows the rest of the figures in the wave along with the Vulture on the back. But it's definitely the figure I've been most excited for out of this wave. So we'll go ahead and uh, get him opened up and check out the details. So first up, he comes with the Demo Goblin head and he looks freaky as ever. Look at all his teeth. Reminds me of uh, Pennywise there. Very cool looking. Can't wait to build this guy. We also got an alternate vulture head with the cap on or the cowl on. I think it looks really cool. It's got the nice uh, texturing and little line work. You can kind of see it's just got the, that fabric, but I think it looks really cool. Not sure if I'll use this head, but it looks really good. Eyes are looking straight on. You can see the white on his eyebrows. He's got the very old looking skin. I think overall, I think it's a cool alternate head. And then before I attach the wings, he does come with two little ones and one larger one. So they got a nice paint. Uh, it's just like a darker green with the lighter green it comes out, but it is very um, smooth. There's not much tech, there's no texturing at all. So they look pretty cool, but overall they're very much lacking detail. I guess it depends on what these are made of. If they're going for the feather look, like the old Toy Biz from the Fearsome Foes box set, this does not look like feathers at all to me. I mean, it's got the shape of them, but it doesn't have the texturing of feathers, which I will show later in the comparison. But there you go, there's his wings. Now checking out Vulture, I figured I'll attach the wings after I go over the whole figure and do the articulation. He's got a very creepy, creepy face. He's got the old age spots on top of his forehead, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's got the pink around his eyes, kind of giving that more tiresome look. The wrinkling looks really good. But I think this is a great looking uh, Vulture, an old, you know, Vulture head look. He's not, I mean, he's just, I feel like he's Almost as creepy as the Toy Biz one. The Toy Biz one's pretty creepy, but I think it's a good, good looking older vulture. And he's got the little scruff around his neck and the feathering, even though it looks like more like fur, uh, but it does remind me of like a vulture's collar. And it is um, removable. You can definitely take that off and pop, pop his head off and get that off. It's not tabbed in or anything, but it fits on there very nice and firm to where you don't have to worry about it um, falling off or anything. But it's just a plain, you know, white with a little bit of like a lighter, I don't know, a little bit of paint in there. I can't tell if it, maybe not. Maybe it's the shadowing. It's the shadowing, sorry. My eyes playing tricks on me. And his body's like a darker green. He's got this light paint, light green paint, but you can see some of the line work on there. I think that looks really good. I do like that. I think that turned out nice. I didn't notice that in the pictures. But I think it looks really good in person. You guys can see it. But otherwise it can use a dark green. He does have just two grasping hands, which is cool because if you're having him fly at Spider-Man, you know you're gonna have him like reaching out to grab him, which is cool. On the back, it's just that same dark green. Continues down on the legs and the feet. So he's not a crazy amount of paint detail. He's just got a cool looking head sculpt and a little bit of paint work on the front. So his head looks left and right, looks up all the way. So you can definitely get him in some good flying poses. Looks all the way down. Does He is gonna hit the little collar there um, kind of head tilt side to side he's got the armpit joints which is good he's got the ball joints in the shoulders and then you can move forward and back upper biceps so a little double jointed elbows nice little firm rotation at the wrist also a hinge at the wrist so you can definitely get them flying down uh, ab crunch not super far arch back not as much either got a waist swivel kicks up pretty high he's got an upper thigh swivel Double jointed knees, no boot rotation, ankles move down, they move up. He also has nice ankle rockers and peggles above his feet. So I'm gonna get these wings attached, then we'll check them out. We'll do the height. Sorry guys, with the wings on, I ended up just kind of, yeah, I put the forearm one on first and then the under wing underneath it. You can swap them to where if you wanted to have the texturing on the outside in case, I guess it just depends on how you're gonna have them posed. Uh, mine's probably going to be more kind of upwards like this. So I wanted to have the line work of the sculpt facing outward. So it's not just the smooth green plastic on the inside. But yeah, they fit on good. They're not going to come off. They plug in pretty nicely. And you can't see, eh, you can kind of see the plug there. But over on the inside, you definitely can't see them. So they look nicely attached. Go ahead and swap the head so you guys can see the other head. All right, so here it is with the other head on there. I think I am probably gonna end up keeping the bald head on there. Looks a little more creepy, but still not too bad. It's cool to have that option. All right guys, so standing up Vulture, he stands just a little over six inches tall. 
So first up, we'll go ahead and bring in the Toy Biz uh, Fearsome Foes Vulture. Um, I am excited for this one just for the sheer fact my Fearsome Fo Foes Vulture is extremely loose. He's old, and but he's not broken. A lot of them break at the bi upper bicep swivel. Uh, mine is not broken, but he is just very loose. So <laughs> you can kind of see the difference in the texturing of the wings alone. I mean, but I think... I don't know, I think the Toy Biz one's got the more of the, uh, the creepy old man look pretty dialed down. So you can kind of see the side view. And then here's the crazy difference in the wing. So you can almost see in the light, you can barely see the sculpting uh, line work on the new Hasbro one. Whereas the Toy Biz one has full on feathering and you can actually see all the sculpt of all the feathers along with the black wash over that. And these are firmly attached. These are not uh, supposed to come off at all. I mean, you definitely could if you want to break the figure, just swap them. I've seen people swap these wings onto the Hasbro one, but I definitely wouldn't, I won't be doing that. I don't like to, unless I have extra extras, but otherwise I don't typically, especially permanently remove things where it's hard to put it back together. Basically, I just don't do that. Anyway, but you can see the line work on the Toy Biz one. I'll just show you guys in case you haven't uh, seen this one. It is sculpted on. He's got the creepy old man hands where this is just painted on. So overall, definitely the sculpted detailing and the paint work on the Toy Biz ones, you know, by far better than the Hasbro one. But I do like the Hasbro's articulation more so. I feel like it's got a more uh, formed body with, you know, just because back then they used the ball joints, which is understandable because that's just what there was back then. But overall, yeah, it's a good little comparison. We'll go ahead and bring in the next vulture. All right, so here's the ultimate Spider-Man vulture that from that two pack a while ago. So you just kind of see the difference, different, uh, same body, just uh, added on to. Actually, it's a different body because this one's got the armpit joints. So ignore what I said there. But it's just kind of fun to have the different variations. And then also, here is the alternate head. You can see it's a much younger looking vulture. It's not a creepy old man at all. If my camera would focus. You guys could see that. There you go. Yeah. Overall, I really like this figure. Yes, uh, the paint is lacking on the wings. I wish there was a little more detail on the wings. But overall, I do I do like how this guy looks. I think it's a pretty cool looking uh, vulture. It's a good, decent update. Um, just because my Toy Biz one, like I said, is slowly, well, not slowly, but is very tired. <laughs> it's well loved. I, I love this figure, but it he he's just, he's seen better days. He looks like he's hunched over about to just pass out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. It's kind of long, but um, overall, I think it's a good figure. Definitely my favorite figure out of this wave. Um, but now we'll go ahead and get on to building Demo Goblin. All right, I hope you guys have a great night, and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.